What's up, FitFam? Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to give you an update on my knee. So I am back to work. I'm right about 12 weeks post-op from my third ACL reconstruction and fourth knee surgery. I will link the playlist above so if you are new here and you don't really know what I'm talking about, you can go check them out. I have not really done a whole lot, I'm going to be honest. Um, a lot of life has been happening. Um, a lot of things have been catching up with me emotionally, physically, and so I've just been taking a lot of time to myself. I will go into a lot more detail on that later. I am revamping some things in my house to accommodate my knee and accommodate how I've been feeling. So that's probably why you haven't been seeing really any lifting videos or anything like that. So um, I'm, I apologize if you notice I'm covered in paint. I've been painting um, ceilings and trimming and all that fun stuff and it's been keeping me kind of preoccupied but like I said I am back to work I've been back to work now for about a month I'd say right about a month and I work on concrete floors which is very very hard on my knee a lot of the walking um, towards the end of my shift um, right about hour six to hour eight is really when the pain and the inflammation starts to happen I go to the surgeon this upcoming week for just a regular checkup and I have been having a lot, a lot of pain. Um, I'm not gonna even say that it's uncomfortableness. It's straight pain. Um, sometimes it is so bad that I can't even walk. So I'm hoping that this is just a short-term thing and it's not a long-term situation with having so many knee surgeries and it's finally catching up with me. I really, really hope that's not the case but I am having a substantial amount of pain, which is causing me to be less and less mobile. Um, sleeping has been extremely uncomfortable for me too. I can only lay certain ways. I am going to obviously talk to my surgeon about that and things of that nature. So the pain is unlike anything I've felt um, really at all. It's not really, it's not muscle pain. It's not incision pain. It's nothing like that. This is straight bone pain because unless you've actually had um, surgery on a bone in your body, you really can't explain it. It is unlike any other feeling that's out there. I did have a lot of bone pain and a lot of bruising with my first and my second surgery, some bruising with this past surgery, this fourth surgery, um, but it this is right in the knee itself along the bone which is causing me to not be able to lay certain ways when I sleep, when I sit, um, even trying to lay on the couch I have to sit a certain way. Um, I can't even really use a body pillow to put in between my legs to take some of the pressure off. It's unlike anything I've felt before. So I just wanted to show you really quick what my leg is looking like with all the atrophy as well as what the incisions are kind of looking like. They are completely healed. The scars will never go away. It's something that I'm going to have to live with forever. Um, having so many surgeries has caused um, some weird rippling in my skin and stuff. Hopefully um, if the muscle grows back and the nerve damage is um, not permanent Hopefully that will subside, but it's still too early to tell because like I said, I'm like 12 weeks post-op. So I'll take you down, um, show you my knee, kind of what everything looks like, and go from there. So obviously this is the bad leg. This is the good leg. You can see the size difference. I'm trying to flex a little bit. You can see I still have muscle definition here in my good leg. This does get tight when I flex, but obviously it doesn't look anything like this. My hamstring's slowly going down a little bit as well. I have incisions along the front here. So I did notice that prior to this past surgery, I had a long incision down here and a small one up here, and they actually just connected the entire thing. 
I didn't really notice that until I was looking back on pictures, but they just made this one big incision so that way they could move it over and get to my patella. And then over here is where the weird kind of rippling is. I don't know if you can see it straight on, but when I look down at my leg, I have a very large dent right here in the side of my leg where the incision is right here, another dent right here, which is where the incision is. So it kind of goes in, out a little bit, and then in again. So hopefully over time that will subside if uh, my muscle definition comes back a little bit and some of the nerves wake up. As far as feeling goes, I can touch it, I can shave my legs like normal, I can massage it. It does feel very numb from about here to here, so this whole area kind of just feels like I went to the dentist and they gave me the lidocaine. But the pain that I'm having is right through here. Um, it's the bone, obviously, so it's just in this general region. When I'm walking, when I'm laying, this is where that pain is. Um, occasionally I'll have some patella pain right here when I'm walking and sitting, but it's nothing like over here on the side. So hopefully that's just something that will go away in time. But here's what we're working with. I'm not even gonna say it's a starting point because right now we're just living life, healing, and going through the motions until things kind of start feeling a little bit more normal for me. All right, guys, until next time, don't forget to hit that subscription button, and I will catch you later.